hey guys welcome to another tutorial thursday that's what i'm calling my thursday videos now but if you think it's lame please let me know <laughs> so if you've ever seen um something like this and you ever wondered how they do it then this video is definitely for you and please please watch to the end because i'm going to be sharing some really valuable tips and um yeah let's get straight into it Don't click off yet just because you're seeing Canva. I'm going to be demonstrating this with a free version of Canva. So you can actually do this for free. So watch, okay? Just stay. So go to videos up here. Scroll down and click on see all. Once it opens, click on the plus sign or the blank space to open um, a working platform or... Yes, you get what I mean. <laughs> So once it's open, click on the plus sign down here. Click on element. Then type sketch in the search box and search for it. Now, some people like when I was making this video, somebody around me was like, he didn't know he could find this sort of things on Canva. Now, like I said, I'm using the free version. So as you can see, it's showing pro, pro, pro for some of the images. So I won't be able to use some of the images, but I can still find some sketches that i can use now you can also you know narrow down your search to maybe a specific thing so here let's search for the sketch of a man to see what we get or you can search for whatever you want to illustrate or talk about in your story or in your video so if you're going to be using Canva for this, please, like I said, watch to the end because I'm going to share another site you can get free sketches in case Canva doesn't have what you're looking for because of course we're using the pro version we don't have access to everything so click on um, once you um upload the image that you want just export it as a png or jpeg not as video i know we opened a video tab but export it as an image first of all So once that is done, you can either maybe delete the picture from this space as you use this space, or you can just add, you know, another space. Click on the plus sign, scroll down until you find apps. Click on apps and search for speed paint. Let's say click on it. Then it opens this interface, there's choose files, um, duration and stuff. So just choose the file, the file we just exported, bring it back. Then you can set it. One thing though that I must tell you, because this thing, I don't know why it does so, but if you set it to duration above five seconds, it doesn't, for instance, if I set it at a 10 second duration, it doesn't give me up to 10 seconds. So that's just one thing you should know. Another thing you should know is that um, it just gives limited hands, hand style. This is all, does this for, it doesn't give room to maybe customize or add something. So that's one other thing you should know. So I'm going to select this first one and then click on animate image. And then you just have to wait for it. It takes a bit of time, maybe a few minutes to animate your image. Then once it's done, it just goes back to normal. If you're using your mobile phone, just press the back button and to take you back to the main page where we're working. And we have our animated clip. So just extend it to the size you want. I'm just going to fill up the screen for the sake of this tutorial. So you'll be able to see very well what we're working with. See? That's so cool and very, very simple and easy to do. Now, if you, like I said, if you don't have if you don't get what you want here, maybe you're looking for a specific illustration, you don't find it here. Go to your browser, search for ide ideogram, ideogram, gosh, I don't know how that's pronounced, <laughs> but I'll put it on the screen. Click on it, register. It's very, very easy to register, register with your email or your, G your Google account. It's just straightforward. So once you pick your username, it opens an interface like this. Just click on the plus sign. If you have time, you can go through all of that, you know, samples. Click on the plus sign. And then if you're doing a video for YouTube, change the aspect ratio to, they don't have 16 by nine, but I clicked on 16 by 10. 
yeah so for youtube then change it to illustration because that is what we want then you can describe whatever you want so for the sake of these things i'm just going to give it a simple description a smartly dressed man working with a briefcase you know something that's easy just so i can show you how it works so I've made um, a video about how to generate proper, proper AI images. I'm going to link them in the description box. Please do well to check them out. So once you're done describing, you um, click on generate and give it a bit of time. And it comes up with four different pictures. Nice. So I think I'm going to be clicking on this one. Just click on what, whichever one you want. If you want to download it, click on this three, but three dots and download and it downloads straight into your phone so once you save your images come back to canva click on the plus sign scroll to find the speed paint app once you use it once it's already there you don't need to search for it again so click on it choose file then you see the image you just downloaded you just saved click on it do every other setting like i already showed you guys in the beginning or in the previous one um then you know animate your image so like i said this is another way to get images that you can't reach or you can't find on canva maybe because you're using the pro version or because they're not just there with this you can generate whatever idea you have and you bring it back here to animate it Please, if you're getting value from this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very, very much. So another thing, guys, because this thing comes as if it's too fast, you can actually reduce the speed or increase the speed. However, just go down, click on the one you want to reduce and then scroll until you find playback. Now with this, you can either increase or reduce the speed, however you want it. I'm just going to reduce the speed. Yeah, that's the pace I want. Yep. So that's a tip for you. Like I promised. Is that enough? Let me know. I could add more. <laughs> so once you're done with all of that, what is left is to download your clip. And to do that, I'm just clip click sorry click up here then download now as an mp4 video and that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching again like share subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next one bye